European traders. Privateer FX is back with the European Open after an epic trip to the States. Saw some people in New York and Chicago. We are back in Europe. Thank God. Um, very, very, very low volatility last night. But we got a couple of levels we're looking at. The main theme today is this Swiss franc. Uh, looks like this dollar Swiss level here, 98.40, is going to trade. And we should see a move, you know, down to sort of the figure or down to this 200 day again, which has been supportive now for the last uh, 10 trading days. 97, 91. So we're looking. We're gonna be. We're not gonna get short early here. We're gonna wait to see if we can penetrate this 40 level. Get short with sort of a 60 stop, and then just try and keep your shorts as we trade down to the figure. Sterling Swiss similar pattern. 131.57. Same idea. What's going to drive this today? We have the tax vote in the House and Senate. <coughs> this will be watched closely. Obviously, if this tax vote fails, uh, they will sell dollar Swiss hard. Also, we have all kinds of nonsense in the UK. So, if there's negative news from Theresa May or there's negative news from the EU side of this, we um, will see sterling get hit. So there's two storylines that could provide an impetus for this. We'll just see see how things go. Otherwise, very, very quiet. Dollar yen, 13 point range. 112 the figure is important. Not sure how we're going to get there to see that. This isn't a bad chart here, Aussie Yen. We are in sort of risk-seeking environment in FX right now. Risk on. We have S&P minis at 26.95. Yeah, the Nasdaq at 65.13. So historically, Aussie Yen should go up under these circumstances. 85.50 has kind of capped us and is a bit of a pivot from the move down. This is a careful, careful long, I would say, in smaller size. If you look at the average true range on the dailies now, it's just pathetic. 54 points. So, not, not much juice there. But the thing is, if you get a risk on position, you just have to be patient because oftentimes it grinds higher rather than shoots higher. So try and get a good average, be patient, but also be disciplined because I have a feeling we're going to switch to risk off very quickly over the next sort of 10 trading days and into the new year. A lot's going to depend on how this tax bill gets passed, but. Be careful, uh, risk on. This is not my favorite side at the moment. Finally, dollar CAD. It's a nice chart because you have your 200 at <coughs> 129.30, which coincides sort of with these 129, sort of 12 or 15 highs. Yesterday, we had highs of 83 and we also have these 95 highs so if you can get through this whole series of highs we have a lot of clear air up there the risk for CAD is at the end of the week we have CPI and retail sales so I'm not sure what the catalyst would be today keep it on the oil market perhaps or the dollar in general but it's a nice chart so Dollar strength today, we kind of, we're going to lean towards the dollar cat as our vehicle, dollar weakness. We're going to try and trade dollar Swiss. Alright folks, thanks for tuning in.
I will see you at the New York Open. Good luck today. Ciao.